Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing fabulously well and are having a beautiful weekend. Today's video, we are gonna be looking at these seven bags that are under $6,000 from Hermes. Now, the reason why I say dollars, even though I live in the U of the K, is because finding the UK prices for these things is very, very, very difficult. So if you think I might be wrong in any of the pricing because you've recently bought a bag or I'm looking at a price that is quite old, then please, please, please do not hesitate to leave what the actual price is in the comments down below so that we're all up to date, including myself. <laughs> As always, before we jump into the video, if you could hit the like button because it helps me out loads. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. and we focus on luxury and fashion. Without further ado, let's jump into bag number one, the Her Bag Zip. Now this bag was actually discontinued in the mid 2000s, reintroduced in 2009 as the Her Bag Zip. So before it was just the Her Bag. Now this bag comes in a variety of sizes, starting from 31 centimeters all the way up to 39, the cabin 50, and the her bag zip in the size 52. So you get really, really big sizes. The bigger sizes are obviously more used for traveling and stuff like that, as opposed to just going on with your day-to-day -day life. <laughs> you know, you couldn't possibly carry around a bag that big as a day-to-day -day bag. Um, the bag is a mixture of canvas and leather and comes with a strap. Now, the body of the bag is the thing that's made out of canvas and it comes in two different styles, the retourné and cellier, which for those of you that don't know, retourné is the stitching on the inside, which gives the bag a more relaxed, casual kind of vibe. And then the cellier is the stitching on the outside, which makes the bag look much, much more structured. You also get a treated and untreated version of the canvas. The great thing about this bag is that you can actually change the bodies. So if you did want to switch up canvases and switch up the leather parts of the bag, you can do so. If you did want to wash it, you can definitely do that. It is very much inspired from the Kelly and is the much, much cheaper version of the Kelly. And it is one of the lower of the price points when looking at the Hermes bags, starting at $2,800, which I mean, for a bag which resembles a Kelly, I think is fantastic. Jumping into bag number two, we are looking at the Hermes Evelyn, and this bag is priced at $3,475. Obviously, it goes up according to size. <laughs> Um, this bag was actually designed in 1978, so a very, very long time ago. And when it was designed, it was designed to use as a grooming bag. So for your horses, when you go, you clean your horse up, make it look fresh and clean. <laughs> you put all your tools back inside. And that perforation that you see on one of the sides of the bag, that is used like to, to air out and to dry up your tools. So. Those perforations were there for a purpose. Now, a lot of people wear the bag with the perforated side showing. That is actually the back of the bag. So you're wearing it the wrong way if you do wear it that way. The Evelyn comes in four different sizes and you get, hold on, let me get my phone. You get the petite, which is in the size 16. And if I'm not mistaken, the petite should be the TPM, which is a really, really small one and it's so cute. And it's actually making me turn my head just a little bit because I was never interested in the Evelyn until I saw the little one and I was like, could this be? Um, we then have the medium, which is 29 centimeters, the large 33 centimeters, and the extra large at 40 centimeters, which is huge. The strap is made in canvas, and then the actual body of the bag is what's made in leather. Now, I've seen cool ways of styling this bag. You don't have to use the strap. You can attach your twillies onto there, or a cute little scarf to make a strap in a different way. You don't have to keep the strap on. This bag comes in three different leather types, can choose from Reese and Clemens. And then the third, I have to put a question mark in this one because I did see a lot of Epsom. I couldn't imagine an Evelyn and an Epsom. I feel like Epsom is too, too stiff of a leather to have an Evelyn bag in, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but who knows, maybe they did do them and maybe they've stopped. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know on that. So that's why I put Epsom with a question mark at the end of it. Bag number three is the Picatin. And wow, what do we say about this bag? This bag is clearly inspired by the nose bag feeds thingy majigs that horses used to eat their food in. You just make the straps a little bit longer so that it fits on the head and it's a nose bag. Done. Like a very expensive one, but <laughs> 
you've got a nose bag for your horse. The Picatin comes in a variety of colours and is predominantly made in Clements leather, which is why it's so slouchy and just so mushy and soft and just... It's a really, really pretty bag, okay? Really, really pretty. It just doesn't suit my style for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in an array of sizes. Again, I think it's a really, 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 really good price point, starting from $2,950, which in my opinion is really, really good, considering this bag is made entirely of leather. Bag number four, we're looking at the garden party, and this bag starts from $3,600. The garden party is a tote bag with snap closures. You have two snap closures on the side of the bag, so if you did want to change the shape of the bag completely, then you just snap in the two sides. It's available in a canvas with leather accents or a fully leather version. I personally, if I ever did get one, it would definitely probably be the all leather version because I feel like you don't have to worry about the bag getting dirty, you know what I mean? The bag is available in three different sizes. You have the size 30, 36 and 49 Voyage, which the 49 Voyage is quite clearly Again, used as a travel bag because who's going to carry around a bag that big on a day-to-day -day basis? Certainly not I, and I highly doubt you would, so... <laughs> Number five, we're looking at the Mini Belide. Belide? 1923. This is how old that bag is. My gosh, think about it. 19... 23. That was a very, 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 very long time ago. Um, and it's a bag with so much heritage, you know, if you really, really want something that's from Hermes with so much history behind it, this bag is the bag because it's one of the first bags to ever be created with a zip closure, which like that's mind blowing, right? It's crazy. It was originally designed for I need to find out his name, hold on. Emile Maurice Hermes designed the Bolide as a gift for his wife in 1923. This is definitely one of the more understated of the Hermes bags and it actually comes in two different types. So you get the Mo version, which is the soft, mushier version and it gets slouchy. And then you have the rigid version, which is made with a stiffer leather and it means it won't lose its shape over time. So you get two different versions of the Belide. When you open up the zipper, you're open to a single compartment with a back slip pocket. So it's very, very simple on the inside. You don't have any different sections. Literally, that is that. It has a top handle as well as a strap, which makes it very, very versatile. You know, you don't have to wear it on your shoulder. You can carry as a top handle which is perfect and I always love bags that give you the option to do so. The strap is also removable again you have that versatility to remove that strap completely and put a different strap onto the bag. It also comes in three different leather types you have Epsom, Sikkim and Clements leather. Prices again don't quote me prices start from 5,100 okay I'm gonna leave any links to any articles that I did read in the description box down below so you guys can have read through to yourselves if you are interested um but like i said if you have up-to-date prices please 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 don't be shy share them with us because like it's all we're all here to learn right we're all here to learn about hermes and their prices because we want to know before we go into store and have a heart attack <laughs> You know, we want to be prepared mentally. Bag number six is one of my personal favorites, the Getter bag, and this is priced at $5,800. Now, this bag was inspired by the Japanese Getter sandal, which you guys can see, clear inspiration. That little clasp at the bottom is the thing that is used to elevate the bag. This is definitely a more casual, understated bag, but it still has that chic and, and classy coolness about it. Like, oh, I love it so, so much. I think it's a stunning bag. It currently comes in chevre leather, so that's the only leather that I know of it being available in. But again, a variety of colors. The bag itself has a slip closure, which I, oh, when I opened it, I was like, this is a dream to open and close. I loved the, the slip closure and the magnetic feel. It just, it's, it's really, honestly, such, a lovely bag to use. On the inside you have one big compartment with three slip pockets, two on one side and then a big one at the back. The actual strap is made out of canvas and is adjustable which for us people, especially the short ones, <laughs> we need that in our lives because sometimes, i.e. like the mini Lindy, that strap is not adjustable and it's a tad too long for us small people. This bag is your perfect 
everyday bag but something that 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 adds that element of casualness because of the sportiness of the strap as well as the chicness because of the actual body of the bag so very very stunning bag mwah, 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 mwah. love it and it's under six thousand dollars so who doesn't want a bag that looks this good for under six thousand dollars from Hermes <laughs> <laughs> last but not least now this one i'm not entirely sure guys help me out because i uh, there's been price increases but i don't know i can't find specific prices for it i've got guesstimations for this price and the guesstimations that i have is it's starting from five thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars going up to $6,050. So it might be $6,050, in which case eliminate it from this <laughs> list of bags. But if it's under that, then keep it in here. This bag was inspired by the Kelly itself. Unlike the Kelly, it does not come with the clochette and key and lock and all that pullover. It's literally just the bag. And it doesn't come with a strap. You just have the top handle. It can either be worn as a clutch or top handle. However, there are hacks to life and you know you see a lot of people attaching silk scarves twillies chains inserts that you put inside the bag and then attach chains onto them and then boom voila you have a whole bag out of a bag that didn't exist before so there are multiple ways that you're able to cheat the system <laughs> now i personally love 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 the Kelly Pochette in exotic leathers i think stunning crocodile oh do you know what i'm not into the shiny crocodile but I will take it in the Kelly Pochette. I think it is gorgeous, like beautiful. But if you're not interested in exotics, then a lot of the time you do get the Kelly Pochette in swift leather. And that concludes today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my seven bags from Hermes under $6,000. Like I said, please share any of your pricing in the comments down below because it helps all of us out when we're looking for information. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the weekend and a beautiful start to the week. I shall catch you in Wednesday's video. Take care, bye.